Okay, hi everyone, Mr. Trevor here. So, um, this is one of the images that some of you might have received. Okay, so um, this whole um, method is going to apply for all your um, images that you have received. Okay, all the different printouts, this method is going to apply all the same. Okay, so firstly, um, you will need to use your ruler okay, to measure this printout. Okay, this printout it was printed on A4 size. So you measure the maximum width, okay, that you can achieve. Uh, for, for, for the ease of measurement, we are going to measure it to the nearest whole even number that you can um, achieve with this. So um, in this case, it should be from uh, 0 to 20 cm. Okay, so we are going to round it up to uh, 20 cm. Okay, so you measure from 20 cm onwards there will be a little bit of uh, overflow of the image. That does not mean we totally don't draw, uh, then they don't include uh, whatever is out of it. Um, you can still draw and paint it eventually, but uh, so for this uh, grid transfer, we are just going to focus mainly to read out the entire image. There might be some overflow, there might be some um, extended part of the grid whereby there is no image also. So later on, you think you will be able to see that. So from this part we're going to measure okay uh, 0 to 20 so in between and uh, at the top every 2 cm interval you're going to make a marking okay so from 0 uh, and then at the uh, marking of 2 cm 4 cm 6 cm 8 cm 10 cm all the way until 20 cm every 2 cm interval make a marking So over here, um, I would suggest that you go and get a permanent marker with a finer tip. Okay, for there are permanent black markers, but there are two sides of the marker. Uh, try to get something with the finer tip uh, because of the nature of this laser print out. Your normal pen and pencil might not uh, st might not stay very well on this print out image. So I would suggest you go and get a permanent marker to be to do it. Okay, so on the side here, you see some parts of the uh, image is actually. Um, and jutting out of the grid itself, but don't worry, uh, you can still draw it in later on when you transfer the image, okay? Okay, so for the vertical, okay, uh, vertical side, we are going to do the same too. Um, so if you measure, um, you should also measure until in terms of uh, an even number measurement. Uh, in this case, is all the way until uh, 26 cm. Okay, so similarly, at every 2 cm intervals, we are going to put in um, markings. Okay, one marking at 2 cm, the second will be at 4 cm marking, 6 cm, 8 cm, so on and so forth, all the way until the 26 cm marking. That will be your bounding box for this image for the grid transfer okay so all in all you should get uh, 2 cm by 2 cm grids in the end now you should be saying that i am using uh, adobe illustrator okay uh, because it helps to make the, the the tutorial a bit clearer however uh, since you're using your marker and your ruler so do try to do the same marking on the right side and the left side so you have done the left side marking on the right side you should be doing the vertical markings as well on the top 0 2 cm 4 cm 6 cm 8 cm so that you are uh, both sides the measurements are the same okay so once you're done with the markings on both sides you can draw uh, straight lines horizontally from left to right left to right left to right so on and so forth and then for vertical uh, on top okay on top you have made the markings so at the bottom of this image you should also put out the 2 cm by 2 cm uh, uh, 2 cm markings okay at 2 cm intervals so at the top and bottom you have completed making your markings then you can join okay from each of the marking um, from the top to bottom so that all the lines are straight okay so this should form your entire 2 cm by 2 cm grid Right, so once we are done with that, I would like you to um, label 
your columns okay so vertically at the top uh, you can uh, label it numbers 1 all the way to 10 so since it's 20 cm divided by 2 cm you should get 10 columns okay so column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 column 5 column 6 7 8 9 10 okay so please take note to uh, number the columns itself okay uh, and not the lines okay number the column okay then on the sides you are going to label them from a b c all the way until m okay so vertically it will be labeled as a b c d e f g h i j k l m okay so total there should be 13 rows 13 rows horizontally 10 columns vertically okay so now we will transfer this grid over to your canvas paper uh, most of your canvas paper should be in the size of an A3 paper so that should measure 27 29.7 uh, cm by 42 cm okay so same thing we are going to maximize the space that you have on the canvas paper so uh, from what I measured uh, hor um, horizontally it should be about 29.7 cm as mentioned but we will leave a little bit of buffer so we round it down to 29 cm okay so 29 cm and how many columns do we have we have 10 columns so 29 divided by 10 okay in that sense it's going to get you 2.9 cm okay and uh, vertically um, it should be about 42 cm okay so uh, but that doesn't really matter anymore because if we are going by uh, a square grid okay so if um, horizontally uh, you're measuring 2.9 cm uh, vertically the height has to be 2.9 cm anyway okay so you just measure uh, 2.9 cm intervals horizontally and vertically okay so uh, but um, I, I did some measurements so for the vertical one if it's 2.9 cm times 13 rows okay so vertically it should be 37.7 cm okay so we'll just make the um, measurements and markings accordingly according to these uh, calculations okay so once you're done for the drawing of the grid okay so same thing top and bottom do the 2.9 cm markings left and right do the 2.9 cm markings and then once you're done drawing all this grid you will need to label them according to what you have labeled on your printout that's going to be numbers 1 to 10 and then uh, alphabets a to m okay so 13 horizontal rows 10 vertical columns okay so uh, once you're done with that um, as per what we practiced in set 1 and set 2 with your grid transfer technique okay if you need to and actually for this project um, the level of accuracy is very important so do try to draw really grid by grid itself okay um, you might not need to draw in all the details okay just uh, put in the general tones and shapes so that uh, they can guide you when you are doing your underpainting okay so uh, like over here uh, we are going to look at um, row A column 1 so A1 so you will enlarge it okay look at it enlarge it using of course your own drawing skills okay and then so that you can see that from A4 size you are enlarging this into almost A3 size uh, version of it uh, trust me if you are going to be doing copy painting uh, the larger the drawing it is okay uh, the easier for you to paint in the details okay so grid by grid transfer uh, using your pencils and this should help you complete the entire grid transfer enlargement to your canvas paper okay do take um, serious efforts in transferring make sure everything is um, identical as much as possible otherwise once you finish drawing then the boy's face look wrong or make the leg too long uh, the arm is too long then it's gonna not look so great okay so accuracy is one of the higher uh, marking weightage for this project so do take some time okay so once you're done with this uh, grid transfer drawing then you can start painting uh, please do refer to uh, Mr. C's um, painting demo 
so you can follow. Uh, he has done uh, one of the one of the copy painting for one of the uh, reference images that he has given out to you. Okay, so uh, just to sum it out for this uh, grid transfer uh, process. Okay, uh, it is not hard and fast rule in terms of the measurement. Okay, uh, so mainly you need to maximize the measurement so in this case when i do the first measurements on the printout image i'm looking for the maximum width that i can uh, incorporate and cover within the grid itself okay using even numbers okay so from there you work out the, the measurements for vertically uh, for the vertical measurement as well uh, then you can get your grid drawn out very nicely and accurately okay so uh, please work on this and we will look forward to your submission at the uh, when school opens all right Stay safe.